Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the image gallery. We scroll down and over here at general elements we see the image gallery and for a free version it has quite a few options you don't see that often a gallery like this for free but let's take a look i drag it over here and the first thing we will do is add a few images and i'll add a few images with different sizes so i can explain things better so i start over here and i end over here i can create a new gallery and i can drag around change the order or reverse the order or you can remove images i insert the gallery and you will see a result immediately now we can change the image size right now it's a thumbnail so there's a lot of space between the images you can also say full size but then you will load all the images in full size and it can slow down your website what you see right now when you show it in full you see all the sizes as they are and I don't like that. If I update this and I take a look, I preview the changes, it looks like that. I don't like that. I want all the images to have the same aspect ratio. So how can I do that? I go to the image size and I can say WooCommerce thumbnail. And now it looks like that. It looks much better in my opinion. And again, if you go over here, you can change the images, insert them. And now they are changed. How many columns do we want to have? Do we want to have three or five? You can change it. I bring it to four. And where do you want to link when you click on the image? I want to link it to the media file. And I want to use a light box. And you can also say the ordering should be random. So if I update it and I take a look, now you see a pyramid over here. But if I refresh it, you see something else. Now we go to the style. Do we want to have spacing between all the images? Yes, you can increase it or decrease it. Update. And let's take a look. Now there's a little bit more space between the images. Do we want to have a border? And if you take a look, you see a small border. I really don't know why it is there. You also see it over here and if you say border solid with its zero pixels it's removed over here but if i update it i still see it over here maybe it has to do with a certain style in my theme i don't know but i don't know how to get rid of it i also can say the color should be white or transparent but it will not fix it so if you know a solution to this Please let me know. I use a flux theme. Maybe there's something to do with that. And we can have a caption. So if we would go to the pictures, and you click on one, you can have a caption over here, car, insert into the gallery. And then I go to cell, caption, show, text color black. And then you see it over there but I don't want it, so I say hide. Update. So it looks nice. We can take a look at the image again. I forgot something. We can have the border radius. So if I would say 10 pixels, you have a nice border radius over here. You can also make the gallery full width. So if I would make my screen smaller like this, I can have it from the left over here to the right over there. How? I go to the section settings, stretch the section, content width, full width, update. And now it looks like that, but I actually don't like it because then there's a lot of space over here, not so much space over there. So the command zero, section settings, stretch the section is okay, but the content width should be boxed. And now we have a nice gallery over here. If you click on an image, you can navigate through it. 
And if you want to change the style or an elementor of the light box, then go over here, click on this icon, go to the global settings, light box, and the background color, change it to something like that. Let's see, refresh, click over here, and now it looks like that. It looks better in my opinion. So that's what you can do with the image gallery element. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff. And feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.